amenolysis is breaking apart an ester with either an amine or ammonia, the most primary amine, if you want to call it that. Step one is that ammonia's lone pair will attack the carbonyl carbon, which is has a slight positive charge, simply because it's connected to two electronegative atoms. That slight positive charge is attractive to the lone pair on the NH3, and you get a nucleophilic attack. Now, to make room for that attack, you're going to have to break the pi bond between carbon and oxygen here, or rather, break one of the two bonds. You end up with that same carbon connected to OR and R, the same way it is in any ester. You are only singly bonded to that oxygen now, though, and it has a formal charge of minus one. And you have a bond to nitrogen. Now that nitrogen is connected to three hydrogens still, and it has a formal charge of plus one. This is called a Zwitter ion because there is a plus charge and minus charge in the same molecule, rendering the whole thing neutral net. Now the next step is to deprotonate this NH3. Often I see chemists bring another NH3 in to explain it, that lone pair on that NH3 might be attracted to the H that returns a pair of electrons to become a lone pair here. You end up with R, C, O, R the same way. You still have your oxygen single bonded to the carbon, but now you're left with just NH2. And yes, there is a lone pair on that nitrogen there. Now at that point, you have an NH4 rolling around somewhere. It's kind of like a byproduct, but we'll get that H away from it in just a moment. Now the OR minus ion will fall off just like it does in uh, saponification or the base, uh, the base induced breaking apart of esters. Anyways, the single bonded oxygen with the minus charge reforms the double bond with the carbon. And in order to accommodate that as the new fourth bond, the OR minus ion has to fall off. Now you have R connected to C connected to NH2. Oh, look, we've kind of switched what was OR with NH2. And you have a double bonded oxygen here. Your byproduct of that point or of that step is OR minus. That's the oxygen single bonded to an R and it has a formal charge of minus one. Now, the NH4 is a weak acid. This is a strong base, it's an alkoxy ion. And so the NH4 plus becomes NH3 by giving away an H right back to there it becomes HOR, and you've broken apart your ester. Aminolysis is when NH3 or an amine comes in and breaks the ester apart in one or two steps. We say that the quaternary carbon here, or Zwitter ion, is deprotonated before the OR minus chunk falls off, and the OR minus regains its alcohol status by stealing the H away from whatever had deprotonated the amine to start with. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.